senior offensive tackle Bryce Quigley joins us from San Diego State on the Western Exterminator Hotline. Bryce, welcome. How are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Ah, doing uh, very well. Uh, I wasn't doing real well when I was sitting at home on Saturday night watching you guys uh, uh, down 16-5. to I can only imagine what it was like in that locker room at halftime. Yeah, it was a, it was a little bit of a slow start. Um, we didn't come out prepared, and uh, we all knew it. We, we all knew we were better than that. In the, uh, in the halftime, we had to bring it up and um, just play Aztec football. You know, from what I what I saw, and haven't been in football locker rooms uh, over the years at at all the different levels, I, I would think that a senior like yourself would have said something to your teammates. Uh, maybe some of the other seniors and team leaders said something because your season, quite frankly, was on the brink. You lose that game, yeah, you're going into conference, but you're going to almost have to run the table to get to a bowl game. Uh, what was it like? I mean, did you say something? Did any other players say anything before the coaches came in and, and talked about making adjustments? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we just had to let, let the guys know that we are a better football team than that. Um, we, we couldn't be playing like that. Um, we came in. Um, with a good with a good game plan, and um, we just had to execute. Um, it wasn't anything that we're not used to seeing. Um, I'm not sure what the problem was, but um, we just had to get our all, all of our heads back together in the um, in the locker room and come out strong in the second half. Uh, I would imagine the coach Toledo, uh, you know, talks to the offense and you know, uh, hey, this is what we're going to do. Your offensive line coach uh, Mike Schmidt. Uh, making a little adjustments here and there? Because I really thought uh, as good as Pumphrey ran and as well as you guys played defensively in the second half, I thought the offensive line were the guys that won this football game. And I would imagine that Coach Toledo probably challenged you guys a little bit, saying, hey, you know what, we're going to pound the football. You guys have got to get the job done. Yeah, absolutely. And in the prior games, um, our wrestling attack hasn't been very good. Um, So just – um, having him put confidence in us and saying um, we're going to put the games on your put the game on your back and um, we'll see what you can do. Um, that was good for us as an offensive line to be able to get in the groove running the ball. Hey Bryce, you've played a lot of football uh, since coming in here from Apple Valley uh, Granite Hills High School, and uh, for some people they hear Granite Hills, they think down here, but you're actually from Apple Valley. I mean, now you've played in 41 career games, you got 29 career starts. You were uh, the starting left tackle last year on a team that won the conference title, went to a second straight uh, or third straight bowl game. Um, Bringing Coach Toledo in this year, and I thought Coach Ludwig did a great job last year of play calling, and the offense was really humming. What have been the differences, and how tough has it been to learn a new offensive system? Um, well, I've been kind of used to it now. Um, we've had I've played with many offensive coordinators, um, but when Toledo came in, there just we had to learn um, a whole a whole new system with different terminology and everything, and that was the biggest. Um, hurdle that we had to overcome was um, being able to communicate on the field with all the different offensive line calls and the quarterback calls and and, um, all of that. So that was the the biggest hurdle coming in uh, with Cook Salido. We're visiting with Bryce Quigley, left tackle of San Diego State. Now you guys, uh, you come back, you play a great second half, you guys get the win, you you get your, you know, a a box of pizza or a a nice sandwich or whatever, get on that plane and get back to San Diego. Uh, Short work week. In fact, the next couple of weeks are going to be kind of odd because you guys play Friday night in your conference opener, even though they've already played two conference games, Nevada. You play at 6 o'clock Friday night, and then you turn around and have to go to Air Force a week from Thursday. Yeah, it's um, it's a new new experience for me. I'm not sure if we've ever done that before. I'm not used to that. But, um, yeah, it'll be fun. Um, it's a lot of football in a short amount of time, so that's always always fun to do. What? Uh, how does that change you guys uh, getting prepared? Because normally you guys are normally off uh, on a Monday, correct? Yes. Well, what, what did you guys do today? Um, we had a short uh, practice. Um, mainly seeing the defensive uh, fronts. Um, we actually did that yesterday, and today we are um, just watching film and, and going over plays and watching Nevada's defense. Um, it's going to be a shorter physical week. It's going to be a lot more mental preparation for this game. Hey, well, how, how about the students at San Diego State? You know, last game against Oregon State, uh, home game that is, 
pretty good crowd, over 32,000, and I'm not going to get back and rehash uh, what could have been, but a good crowd. You think on a Friday night, the students, before they head out to the parties at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, you think they may make their way down to Qualcomm? I really hope so, and um, we better have an exciting game for them to watch as well. Hey, what what do you like to do when you're not uh, playing football? And I know you've been, you know, a real leader out there, and you've come up through the program. Now your your last go round. Uh, what do you enjoy away from football? And I know this time of year it's hard to get away for more than maybe 24 hours. But what's Bryce Quigley like to do? Uh, I like spending time with my family. Uh, my family uh, they're big supporters of me. Um, they always come to my games, and uh, I actually have a girlfriend back home and. Um, I enjoy spending time with her whenever I can, and um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a family kind of guy, so I like spending time with the family, and um, usually uh, like to go up to uh, the lake or the river and, and boat a little bit, so that's always fun for fun for us to do. Now, how long have you had a girlfriend back home? Um, I've actually had a girlfriend since my junior year in high school. Same girl? Same girl. Now, what what's she do? Does she go to school? Uh, why, why isn't she down here in San Diego? She actually goes to a junior college um, back in my hometown, and uh, she uh, is a soccer player. So she is done playing soccer right now, and she's coaching that same uh, program that she played on. So that's what she does over there. So she's really into sports. So she understands uh, the separation. You're out here uh, living your dream right now with aspirations of uh, next year at this time playing in the National Football League. Absolutely. She understands the time commitment that's involved with it. And uh, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, so um, she's riding along with with me. Hey, what's been the biggest challenge? Uh, uh, I would imagine for you. I know that you were an outstanding tight end uh, in high school and held several uh, school records uh, at Granite Hills High. And then all of a sudden, you come down here and they beef you up to three hundred pounds. How big a challenge has it been to become a, a dynamite left tackle? Um, yeah, it's been it's been a big challenge. Um, as Run blocking is, 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 I'm used to that from tight end, but um, getting the pass blocking down has big, been my biggest challenge. Uh, that's a little bit different. You don't do too much of that at tight end. So uh, that's been the hardest thing for me. Uh, so I'm coming to playing left tackle. Well, let me ask you a little bit about offensive line. We're uh, visiting with Bryce Quigley, the left tackle of San Diego State on the Western Exterminator Hotline. Again, the Aztecs are home on Friday night. Conference opener against uh, Nevada. And as I mentioned, Nevada already has played two conference games. They're uh, 2-0 and and 3-2 and on the year overall. And they uh, bring a high-powered offense. Their defense has been a little bit... Uh, uh, shabby at times. They run that pistol offense and should be an exciting game on Friday night. Uh, run blocking. You guys do more man or more zone? Um, we like a little bit of both. Um, we do. We have uh, some good zone schemes, and it just depends on the defense we play, and we'll throw in some gap schemes in there as well. What do you like? Uh, I like running the power play. That's probably my favorite play. Yeah, just come off the ball and knock the guy in the mouth? Yeah, just a downhill run play. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> I kind of figured that. Hey, talk a little bit about uh, pass protection. What What are the keys, and what has given you problems from you know aside just not doing it a whole lot prior to coming to college? Um, just getting used to my weight and, and moving around with my weight has uh, has been one of the one of the issues. Um, but uh, I mean, I was playing against played against some great pass rushers, and, and they've been fast guys, so. Um, I have to keep my speed up and um, have to be able to uh, control them with, with my techniques. And um, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to refine my, my techniques. Hey, you know, I got to ask you this. Uh, you know, I do Coach Long's show out at Hooley's Irish Pub and Grill on Wednesday nights. And uh, Coach Long and I, we have a great time. He's a, he's a great guy to, to deal with. I don't know how he is to, to deal with on the field. I know he's intense. He expects a lot. And, you know, he wants you guys to do well. And, you know, he's really a, a guy I think that all coaches really admire because he, he's a coach's coach type of guy. And hopefully that comes through to the players as well. But, you know, about uh, three weeks ago, after that first game, he uh, he didn't fire a, a four out of the five offensive linemen, but he came out and said, "Hey, you know what? Four of the five jobs are up for grabs. The only job that's uh, not up for grabs is Bryce Quigley." And all of a sudden, it looks like that offensive line is starting to produce a little bit better. Yeah, we found um, five guys that that want to play together. Um, 
and that's the biggest thing in the offensive line is having some consistency and some continuity um, so that we can get a feel of playing for each other. And I think we found five guys that want to get the job done, that want to be physical on the field, and um, they want to be able to run the ball, open holes, and we want to be able to protect the passer. Hey, uh, last question. You know, when you talk about offensive line, you talk about strength and balance, agility, and, of course, the offensive linemen, we all know, are the smartest guys on the team. We, we know that right from the get-go. But my question to you, weight room, how, how do you work in the weight room? Uh, what, what are some of the things that you work on, and what are some of your personal bests? Um, as of during the season? Well, I mean, when, when you're training, getting ready for the season, you know, bench, squat, uh, you know, whatever, what are some of your personal best uh, weight-wise? Absolutely. Uh, squat is, is a very important lift, and um, we have to introduce a new um, lift in the weight room this uh, year, and we worked on it last year a little bit as well, but the power clean, um, that's a that's an awesome full-body lift um, with good hip explosion and, and all of that, and that's one of the keys I'm being off the line too is, is having good explosion off the ball uh, through your hips and through your legs, and um, that's very important when focusing on in the weight room. Uh, what kind of bench guy are you? Now, I will also quantify this. All, those little DBs have those short uh, little arms, and they can a lot of times bounce it off their chest. Uh, how about you on the bench? You, you got a, a pretty good uh, bench press uh, weight-wise? Um, bench isn't my best list, but um, I do all right. You're over three, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I figured that. Uh, you got to press those guys out. Hey, Bryce, I know it's a short work week. Thank you so much for the time tonight. And uh, go Aztecs on Friday night against Nevada. Hey, thanks. It was great talking to you. My pleasure. We'll look forward to doing it again, hopefully on the way to a bowl game. We're visiting with Bryce Quigley, uh, starting left tackle of San Diego State. All those uh, quarterbacks, receivers, uh, linebackers, running, they get all the fame. you got to get an offensive lineman on every once in a while.